when exploring rotation anatomically in the swing, how much you rotate, it's kind of less important. What's vital though is how well you rotate, to be very precise, whether you first adapt and adjust within rotation. So example has been, if you start to see someone adapt and adjust almost immediately as they start to rotate back, for example, they kind of move down and forwards or the hand and arms get, say, for example, excessively behind them, invariably the rotational constraints lay much further up through the neck, upper thorax, into the shoulder joint, for example. However, if someone adapts much later in swing, say, for example, as they start to approach kind of end phase in backswing, often say they move down and forwards in, or the pelvis sways, you know, given these examples, invariably then the imbalance and the constraint within rotation lays much more down below foot and ankle into that kind of hip. So once again, how much you rotate, kind of less important, how well you rotate, how well that system produces rotation elastically is vital, but the absolute real crucial part is when does someone adapt in rotation? One could then argue what you do afterwards isn't rotation, it's then more one of movement and just an adaptive response. So examples you then start to see as far as workarounds and swing, often side to side movement, so swaying of the segments, the pelvis, the thorax, the head for example, or the movement forwards or away from the ball, the thrust in segments, that's often the kind of work around, the adaptation to those rotational constraints. So often when we start to kind of move side to side and forwards and backwards, that's almost our way of moving around and adapting for those rotational constraints on the system. The up and down movement, the movement downwards and the elevation is the fallout from or the add-on to first initially moving side to side or forward to backwards. So once again, how much you rotate, very important, but what's vital is how well you produce rotation, but what's absolutely crucial is where do you first adapt in rotation? Often from that point onwards is not really then one of rotation. Side to side movement and forward to backward movement is almost the workaround to those rotational constraints, and the up and down movement is the fallout from first initially moving side to side or forwards and backwards. So the important is to explore how well you rotate and to be very, very precise when in swing, within and anatomically, do we then start to adapt and adjust in rotation?